This curry sauce is creamy, packed full of spice, but it's a warming spice, fit for any generation. It's Marnie's Posh Potato Massaman. This week's Wok Wednesday is a special Wok Wednesday because we've got Marnie here from Easy Dot Thai Food on Instagram or, or Thai Food Made Easy. And that's your website, isn't it? Yeah, thank you for having me, Jeremy. Well, it's an absolute pleasure because I'm really looking forward to this. And Marnie's going to teach me how to make her vegan Massaman curry. Yes, I'm going to show you how to make crispy potato Massaman curry. It is vegan, gluten-free, but actually you can put meat in it as well. So if you have any guests that kind of meat eaters, they will not feel left out. I like how you've done that. You've kind of switched it around. You've gone, okay, let, let's let's feed the vegans first. <laughs> um, so, 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 you know, let's get started. Tell me what I need, I need to do. So I, I really like this Massaman curry. So first thing first, we have to cook the potato first. Very classic way of cooking the potato, very much like when you cook Sunday roast. Okay. You can uh, parboil it, yep. half it, and roast it into 30 degree oven. But here today, we kind of hustle back it. So we cut it in very line. Posh. Yes, that this is, is a beautiful posh. work here. Yeah. So we cut it in line, sideways, but not really cut it through. And then we're going to put it in the oven. If you don't mind, put it in okay. the oven for me, please. 230 degree. 230. Until it's nice and crispy outside and fluffy inside. How long will that take? Roughly it's about 25-30 minutes. Okay fine but these guys have already been roasted a little bit so we'll just put it in for a little less. We just wing it shall we? Let's no. just wing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 15 minutes. Oh, let's just wing it. That's yeah. you know, do you know that's my middle name wing ho wing it that's why that's how I got here. Yeah. yeah. Okay so we'll pop them in till they're crispy. Yes yes so uh, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna start making the wet paste and um, dry spices. Okay. So if you don't mind, please, Jeremy, if you yeah. don't mind, peel the shallot for you me. You gave me the hard job. Yes. <laughs> I put my mascara I'm on. I'm to know you pretty well. Yeah, okay, I'm not crying. <laughs> so, um, These are glasses, not goggles. <laughs> yeah. So you have to uh, peel the shallot and blend the shallot. Ginger, garlic, and chili for me, please. Just a okay. little bit of chili, though. All right. Yeah. Okay, no worries. Yeah. So, in the meantime, I will start to kind of start making the dry spices. So, we have the clove, nutmeg, cumin, cinnamon, mace, paprika, salt, white pepper, and also coriander seed as well. So, I'm Is just going to. Is that basically your whole pantry? <laughs> That's pretty much it, but you have the chilies there. So, okay, yeah. Yeah. so I'm just going to put everything in my pesto and mortar here. So uh, it's going to be very noisy in this kitchen. But hey, noisy kitchen is a happy kitchen, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you don't make enough noise, then you're not doing anything, are you? Exactly. <laughs> so apart from the hassle bags, like everything else is actually just really making the curry sauce and making it quite simple, yeah? Yes, okay. yes it is. I try to keep my uh, recipe very easy, very accessible. All my ingredients, people can just find it in their uh, local supermarket, really. So okay. now I'm gonna start grinding all the dry spice now. So I've got your chilli, your red chilli, ginger, garlic, and your Thai shallots in here. Yes. And, and this is going to make it quite a, a paste, yeah? Yes, this is going to be your wet paste. Okay, is... you, do you want it pasty pasty or smooth or do you I want would it... Have, uh, I would rather have smooth paste, please. You want a smooth paste, okay, yes. fine. That looks exactly like the uh, sauce that we did for the chicken rice video. Yes, you put some kind of liquid in there. Yeah, but no, yeah, well, but it's, but it looks it's one, exactly the yeah. same colour, same colour as your uh, shirt. Thank but, you. Um, yeah, if you, if you haven't seen it already, we've done another video uh, for Hainanese Chicken Rice on Marnie's own channel, uh, so you can check that out. But this is a paste, not a sauce. It looks very similar, but what are we going to do next? We're going to start frying the wet paste, really. So if you don't mind, put some oil in for me, please, okay. and then fry this wet paste. Okay. And this is going to be your uh, base. Paste for massaman. A good amount of oil? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. 50 mil, roughly. I think that's 50 mil. Yes. <laughs> and then... Okay. <laughs> and then you just put it in. Is it hot yet? Um, yeah, it, it's is kind it of hot. hot. Is yeah, it hot yeah, enough? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. fine. We don't want it to be um, burnt it too okay. quickly. So we're going to cook it nice and slow. Okay. So you know, Masaman curry actually is not strictly Thai. It comes from um, Persian merchant or Middle East merchant oh, really? that brought all the dry spices to Malayu, which are uh, Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore. And you lived in Singapore for a I couple did, of yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you do, you get, you get, there's some great sort of spice shops in Singapore and Malaysia, all the countries, all the Southeast country, Southeast Asian countries, yeah. So now I'm frying the wet paste here and I'm going to start to add the dry mixture in. Okay. If you don't mind, help me. Yeah, so it's not dissimilar to how I would do it, except you're sort of right. I sort of dry, I fry off my dry spices first before I put my wet paste in. But hey, this smells amazing already. There we are. So now we're going to start stirring until the herb and spice are infused. And you are, I'm getting that real sort of almost sweet aroma. Yes, and people ask me, Marnie, how do you know if it's infused? So basically, it's like Harry met Sally. <laughs> All of a sudden, you just got explosion of beautiful aroma in your kitchen. Or there is another method that I tend to use is I look at my page. If it's nice and bubbly, that is the first sign. Secondly, I am listen to my curry paste. It's gonna be like sizzling down. <laughs> uh, so next thing, next thing is when your kitchen starts to smell like Thailand, mm -hmm. that when you know that you're ready for the next step, which is coconut milk. And I am going to pour the coconut milk in now. Okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring it to boil and simmer it about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. <laughs> And the potatoes, I'm going to check those because we're winging it. So yeah. let me let me check those. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. You're going to see these posh potatoes here. Yes. Looking nice is. and crispy, huh? Yes, and actually you can use any type of root vegetable, you know. I think if you use those kind of heritage potatoes, yeah, so yeah. they are, have a lot of colours. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. it's really, really going to make this dish look really pretty. And then the rest of the ingredients are just to season and garnish, really? Yes, usually This we... is really easy. This is really Thai food made easy. Yes, it's made easy for everyone. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you for coming. <laughs> are we done already? Yeah. We're not even seasoned the sauce yet. <laughs> or is it because we're hungry? I am really hungry, actually. Me too. And usually when I do this, you know, um, after we simmer it for about 10 minutes, Sometimes you can see the oil start to separate it, but it will not as much as when you cook meat because of the meat will release some fat of the... Uh, the sure. Yeah, but this one you don't have a lot of uh, oil coming out really. But okay. it's just working fine. Looks great, smells delicious as well. Thank you. So the masaman sauce was boiled, simmer, and now we're gonna start season it. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to put like soy sauce, uh -huh. and then I will put tamarind concentrate. Tamarind, nice. Yeah, then, then I put tamarind concentrate. Um, you can use tamarind paste if you want, but you have to reduce the amount of it because tamarind paste is slightly tangier than the concentrate it's more, one. It's more concentrated, isn't it? Yes. So a tamarind paste, you either use less or you can water it down a little. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's easily confused, you know, because tamarind, yeah. people always think the other way around. Then I will put soft dark soft brown sugar. Okay. In the real Thai cooking, we tend to put um, coconut palm sugar in. Right. But if you can't find it, stick with the uh, soft brown sugar, it's fine. I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon to add a little bit of earthy colour into this curry. Then, I am going to put, this is my trick of the trade, here. It is yeast extracts. Oh. Ooh, this one is an organic one. So this will give you a um, 
masaman curry, a little bit of uh, more umami. Okay, so that's what you, you're meaty. sort of replacing the fish sauce with. Yes, that's the tea. That is my secret. You I'm not it. copyrighting. You love it or hate it. You love it or hate it. You're gonna love it in yeah, this okay. one, and I will add a little bit of water as well because okay. I like it a little bit more watery. My curry. Okay. You know, I like that feeling that when you put um, you soak the cooked rice into the curry sauce and it just like scoop up all the flavor and when you put it in your mouth yeah oh, that is nice explosion and yeah. then i'm going to add a pinch of salt then i will simmer a little bit longer roughly in about 10 more minutes and okay. that should be okay should we taste it now? Are we allowed to taste it now? Oh yeah, actually I can taste it now. Usually I, I tend to wait afterward really to taste it, but why not? We can taste it now. Let's have a little. Let me taste it now as well so I okay. can I know what I need to add a little bit more. Mmm, that is delicious. Oh, I get the yeast extract. Have you? Yeah, a little here. Oh. Yeah. Yep, that's good. That's good for now. So here is it, we flavor the sauce. We simmer for 10 minutes and now... And you can see, are... you can see little droplets of oil over the top, which is nice. So okay. this is when you're ready that the final wrap-up season will happen. So I'm just going to turn the heat off mm -hmm. and then I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice just to add a little bit of freshness to lift the dish up lemon a little juice. bit. That, that, yeah. I mean, that's not traditional, is it? No, that is not really. You're because... just making it all up now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're gonna serve it up. So I have the bowl here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the sauce, thank you, the sauce into the serving bowl. And this is really how you like it, really. You can put the potato in and then put everything all in one go. But I like to separate it because it looks prettier. And then I start to carefully put my Lovely Hasselback potato on top, so it's still they nice and They kind of look like little baby hippos swimming around. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't make myself laugh. That's very sweet. They do, don't they? They're kind of cute. Yeah, you can ask your children to do that. Yeah, Count well. how many hippos are alive today. <laughs> <laughs> then what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to garnish it with roasted peanut. I quite like it, a lot of peanut. Add a little bit of crunchiness. A little bit of um, coriander leaf. Then I'm going to put a little bit of sliced chili as well, just to add a little bit of colour. Popping colour is lovely. You know what, Molly? I've really enjoyed this Wet Wednesday. Mainly because I haven't had to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're so efficient. This looks delicious. It yes. really, really does. And here we are. Can I rename your dish? Yes. Okay, let's. I, I think it should be called Marnie's Posh Potato Massaman. There you go. If it's not posh, it's not Marnie. And this is it. <laughs> Crispy potato, vegan Massaman curry, the true test of Thailand. I like that. If it's not posh, it's not Marnie. Do you want to go first? Right, look, you are, I'm going to serve you because you've cooked it so beautifully and so diligently. So here you go. One hippo for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And the other one for me. Okay, get some of that oh, sauce oh, over the top. You. There you go. Perfect. Thank you, Jeremy. And it's a use knife and fork. Your presentation, my presentation. Okay. <laughs> and a use knife and fork, which did not look very Thai. But well, so I, I kind of felt like you had to because it was a Hasselback potato. Yes, of course. So you can just peel the layer off bit by bit. Let's try this. Oh, wow. Marnie, you have invented something absolutely delicious. Oh, thank you. And the you. peanuts add that crunch. Mm -hmm. And I like that warm heat, you know, mellow, creamy, mm. velvety, luscious. My son would love this. He'd absolutely love this. Let us know in the comments below if there's any dishes or traditional dishes that you guys have made posh. Send us photos. Thanks to Marnie for joining us for this Walk Wednesday. Actually just doing the Walk Wednesday for me. She's giving me the day off. I have absolutely loved it. Thank you, thank you for having me. My pleasure. And guys, don't forget to check out our other video between Marnie and I. We're making Hananese chicken rice on Marnie's channel on Instagram and that's easy.thaifood. 
Instagram. Forget it! <laughs>